from the city, the city is still. I'm from the city, the city is still. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. My name is Anthony. This is my boy Marty, and we are still sports card hunting in the great state of Ohio. So this LCS was a little bit of a weird setup. It was like legitimately a house that they turned into an LCS, which you know, dope by me. You know what I mean? Like I'm all about checking out some awesome LCS type stuff, regardless of it's in a storefront or a house. So. The boy's gonna dig around, see what he can find. I got some 25 cent boxes right there, some dollar boxes, got some cases, got a whole bunch of supplies. Gotta love seeing supplies because those are so hard to find. But they have a little bit of everything here, guys. This is looking like I may come away with a few cards from this place. I'm at least gonna do some digging. That's faux show. Like an entire book of SmackDown cards there. Sometimes there's value in wrestling cards, guys. Nick Foley. That's Mrs. Foley's baby boy, you know? Fun fact, your boy wrestled on a card with Mick Foley for a charity benefit show way back in the day. I think it might have been 2011-ish, somewhere in that time frame. Dude looks the exact same in person as he does on TV. Straight up rocks the sweatpants and flannel. It's insane. Like that is Mick Foley for sure. So we actually found out about this LCS from the card show that we were at. We met somebody that worked here and he had some decent stuff, but he said he had a lot more stuff back at the shop that they couldn't even bring. So we decided to check it out. I hope you guys find Okay, yeah, right just now. pretty much browsing. We came over from the card show. Awesome. Yeah, it's actually his recommendation to go. Yep. Yeah, because you probably couldn't find what you wanted over there. And, yeah, I was <laughs> asking about some singles. He said you guys have a lot, so. And they most certainly do have a lot of singles here, guys. Uh, right here, I mean, just looking in this case, there's some really nice vintage football. There's that sick rookie card of Johnny Stallworth up there. I have that one in my PC or else I would have snagged it. Marty did end up picking up some of this vintage basketball over here, though, and he does plan to grade some of it. So hopefully, you know, he'll be able to at least pull some eights on it because vintage stuff right now, guys, is so hot, especially the goats. You know, he's been picking up some really nice Kareem stuff, some really nice Magic stuff. And Magic has a documentary coming out soon, guys. So keep an eye out on Magic Johnson or Laker stuff because that stuff could be on the rise with this documentary. If you think back to The Last Dance, Michael Jordan, I mean, even like other players in that era, other Bulls, like their stuff all saw an increase. But then again, we saw other documentaries that we thought we'd see increases on that did not bear that increase so buy accordingly uh, i was actually looking at some of this wax too because it's so hard to find anything to rip you know what i mean if i can go jordan hunting or you know kobe hunting or any of that stuff like i'm definitely considering that 94 95 is that the jason kidd grant hill year just trying to verify 94 95 who was a rookie that year anybody good I did end up Googling it. It was the Grant Hill, Jason Kidd year. And those are great players to go after. I have stacks of both of their rookies at the house because I collected heavy in the 90s. Plus, I bought out a lot of collections. You know, just going garage sale in and stuff like that as well. And I have a lot of their stuff already. So I decided to pass on that wax. So on the way in, I noticed there was like a kitchenette with some cards in it. So I figured I'd go check out, see what they got in the kitchenette. Looks like they got some decent stuff up on the wall. Triple H relic. There's a, a Dolphins relic. Shout out to Hip Flip and Mama. Got a little bit of basketball, football, baseball up on the wall here. Not really anything I'm necessarily in the market for, but you know, I'm always down to take a look to see what they got. They had some nice vintage baseball over here in this display this is the display that the guy who owns it is most proud of here's a few upcoming show dates anyone's interested if you're near ohio you may want to check these dates out so 
I'll be trying to go to these as well. Last chance at disappointment. Let's see what we get. This has not been kind to me today. Seku, Murray, Collins, Lebron, Malake Griffin, Rubio, Derek Jones, Hernan Gomez, another Drummond, Fournier, newest Celtic, Rui, KPJ, Chris Dunn, Nerlens Noel, second year job, nice Shamit, Bogdanovich, Aubrey, Howard, Cat, your man Colin Sexton. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Josh Richardson. Oh, complete players. Pascal Siakam. Franchise features. Nice. Doncic. That's probably the best card I've pulled so far. De'Aaron Fox, Orange, or whatever laser variant that is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. Finally. Finally, you hit a good rookie. Ant Man. Sick. Kmart Jr. Elijah Hughes. Robert Woodard. And the Vernon Carey Jr. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm glad that you got uh, Ant-Man, though. That's yeah. pretty sick. Between that and the Doncic, that pack may actually be about, have enough value. And there. the Sexton. Oh, yeah. Did you really think your boy was only going to take you to one LCS in Ohio today? Come on, man. That's nonsense. Youngstown Sports Cards, here we go. You guys ready to check out some more dope cards? This place looks pretty cool. This happened to be on our way home, so hey, more cards, more fun, right? So let's see what we can find up in this place. Of course, I'm gonna go straight over to the basketball because the boy's a huge basketball collector and typically Ohio has Cavaliers, so I wanna see what I can find. A Juju rookie there. I have like literally the rainbow in that optic Juju right there. It's so dope. A little baseball action. A little bit of everything. These glass cases up front. Over here looks like they got some baseball heat. There's that Jeter. Shout out to Warcraft who has like a gajillion of them by now. But some really, really nice stuff. Gotta love seeing slabs. You know, I love seeing singles. Anytime I go into a card shop and I see singles, I'm always a happy camper. Look at this, Patty Mahomes fire. There's a Jack Ham down there. You know, I'm always eyeing up them Pittsburgh Steelers. I actually think I have that exact ham, only mine's autographed. It's like PSA DNA certified or whatever. Tua, that's a sick little Tua auto. Kyle Murray Auto. They've got some really, really nice football here at this shop. You know, that's one thing I'll say for Ohio. You know, just like Pennsylvania, they are really good at stocking football. Some basketball. Basketball is always one of the things I'm on the hunt for. Their prices were really high, though, guys, on like a lot of their stuff. Like, I found their comps to be above eBay, though. That was like the only thing I wasn't a huge fan of. So yeah, as you can see, they had some really nice basketball singles here, guys. So one thing I really, really like about LCS is that stock singles is just having a nice little selection of stuff. And I always like being able to buy stuff a lot. And I was really scoping out the MPJ stuff here because I just picked up that auto earlier in the day at the show. I ended up passing on all of that. Me and Morty did go through a bunch of bargain bins. I don't think either of us picked anything up. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. God bless.